Oh, she's enjoying that one. Let's go. My first footballing hero was um, David Beckham, just because I absolutely loved the way that he passed the ball, crossed the ball. And for me, I just loved the way that he drove his team on. So that was my first football hero. Next one. I first thought I could make it as a footballer when, actually was when I got um, scouted for Sunland uh, Centre of Excellence when I was 10. I think it was 10. Um, I've been to a Easter holiday camp and I got scouted and they asked us to go and to train with them um, on a Friday night. So for me, that's when I first thought I could make because I was going to play for my hometown team. Wow. Uh, I will never experience a moment again like... Oh, that's a tough one, that one. I hope we do. Uh, but probably lifting the FA Cup at Wembley for Manchester City to walk up them steps and to lift the trophy in front of so many fans at Wembley Stadium, the home of English football, was such a surreal moment but hopefully we do it again next year. The best advice I've ever received is just to give it absolutely everything and everything that you do is just to work as hard as you possibly can and that's the only thing that you can control as a person and especially in football is how you kind of attack training absolutely every single day, whether it's in the gym or on the pitch and um, and just to enjoy everything that you do. I think that's, if you enjoy, you end up playing better and training better anyway. My proudest moment in football is, wow, I've been so lucky to have done so many great things in football, but I think probably being given the England captaincy was probably my proudest moment. I think it's something that I never ever thought I would ever get and I never ever thought about anyway. But to get that and to be able to captain my country for eight years was such a special day for, for me and my family. The thing I want to achieve most is, I think for me, especially this next year, is just to be able to have an influence on people in and around Manchester City, whether that's my teammates, the staff that I work with, the people in the building. And I feel as though if I can inspire them to be first and foremost a good person and to give them that little bit of confidence if they want to achieve something. If I could do that, then I would be really, really happy. If I had to describe this City squad in three words, they would be, oh God, gotta be careful here. Um, together, ambitious, and sometimes a little bit crazy. <laughs> the best player I've ever played with is, it's got to be Kelly Smith, absolute legend of English football, um, such a great girl as well, but I think if you ever needed someone to kind of take the game by the scruff of the neck, it would be her, and to have had that privilege to play with her at England and Arsenal was, um, yeah, absolutely amazing. The toughest opponent I've ever faced is Marta for Brazil was pretty hard to play against as a centre half. I think she was a forward that could run in behind, could get the ball to feet, could dribble and um, get out your 1v1 and score goals, so I'd have to say her. I've decided to extend my stay to City because I just absolutely love the club. Um, I love my team. This is my home and this is where I want to be. And if I wanted to play football for another year, there was only one place I was going to do that and that's here. Gareth Taylor is um, my manager first and foremost, but um, no, I think he's someone that always drives to, to improve us as individuals and always wants us to play that perfect game. And uh, for me as a player and a person, that's what you want to achieve is just having that perfect game of football where we can compete against the best. Manchester City is everything. Um, think to be here at this club for this amount of time and 
to have met the people I have and to have worked with some amazing players, coaches, staff, and the people I just regard them as like my second family. So yeah, Manchester City is absolutely everything. <laughs> Steph Horton is staying here. I didn't know what else to say. I'm not going to compliment myself. I didn't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs>